There's so many other great pieces that uh, I'm sure that uh, Sarah will mention along the way. Now, I'd love to be able to put up red dots on some of these, but unfortunately, I don't have the money to put red dots on them. But if I did have the money, I'd want to go to accountants. And uh, I got one on my left hand side here, who is the chieftain now of the O'Malley clan. And uh, Chieftain Pierce is going to address him after a couple of minutes. Pierce and I. Thank you. 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 Starting with this exhibition, and it's your brainchild, and thank you very much for doing it. So, we're, it's an appreciation of Grani Wave, and I found the glasses as one has to, you know what I mean. And I see there that Grani Wave is a seafarer, valiant, strong as sea surge, you appear starboard as, and true hand blown from a bow wave, an extraordinary woman, so she was. We know Grani Wave worked tirelessly for her clan and did what had to be done for the survival of that clan. You artists, uh, in your contribution towards, you've made a great contribution now towards greater public awareness of the life and legend of Grania Wade. We have um, uh, 29 artists, uh, and you see there are 29 individual interpretations of Grania Wade. Thank you for your work, which, which is an exceptional high standard and a great variety. It is clear that a lot of time went into the pieces of art produced on display here. Ireland has a history of outstanding women, and in Grony Wale, I suggest she is the first one that we know of in modern history. Although we might be going back four to five hundred years, but we have to start someplace, and I would like to think that Grony Wale is first in the line of famous great women that Ireland has had. Uh, when, when we think of <laughs> other uh, women that we know in the public domain, we have Mary Robinson, she held the Presidency of Ireland, was High Commissioner, and who doesn't forget, the candle in the window of ours neutron added our disaster, diaspora to our population. The message was simple, where you, you're Irish, no matter where you're living, and you're always welcome home. That was followed by another great woman, Mary McAleese, and she was President when the Good Friday Agreement was reached. And, and her outreach to Northern Ireland was fundamental to it. And of course, she had the historic visit of Queen Elizabeth II to Ireland. Now, we know it should have happened 400 years earlier because there was a revisit that had to happen, but at least it happened in time. Uh, and Anne Jim, and Jim has more to say about that uh, on the play next Saturday, Saturday week. So I hope you all attend. Another coming on in history, another great woman that helped. Ireland, I said to myself, was Captain Macaulay in the 1950s. She saw that the road from poverty was education. There was a need for young Irish women to receive an education. She found the Sisters of Mercy teaching order, and that had contributed greatly to Irish society and to women and in that time. Uh, now, of course, there's a day to remember, and I'm glad to see you're all looking so young and well. Now, the day to remember is in 12 years' time, so you know, keep it well in your diary because in 2030 is the 500th anniversary of the birth of Grania Wave. Uh, that woman that stood at the helm, who used the ocean roads to map her mind, and maybe occasionally acquired a few cattle from far away. But I, you know, this whole concept of the clan here this year has been the theme of Grania Wave, and to make sure that we bring more awareness of that great woman which, as I said, is really probably one of the, my colour, and I'm probably biased, so one of the first women that we know in history and that we can work forward from that stage. So, might I then mention about this cloak that I'm wearing. The cloak was woven by Beth Moran, who did that exhibition up there, and it was woven on Clare Island. Um, and you know, uh, it's the, the clan rally is held every year, and it's in Westports this year. Uh, and it's not necessarily for it's for O'Malley's, but not necessarily for O'Malley's. It's about the Irish concept of clan, and we're all clan. We have a work clan, we have a friends clan, we have a clan, and it's an Irish concept, uh, and we want to cherish it. Uh, and it's not necessarily O'Malley's, as we know, cl close to 50% of people in their lives, you know, have the option of changing their name, and it does happen. So it's very much an outreach. 
the Fair Kumo uh, show is on Saturday, Saturday week in the Town Hall Theatre there. The, the show includes a play extract, a premiere show, might I say, written by Anne Chambers. Thank you, Anne, for your huge involvement in the production. Tickets are available at the uh, reception, right? Uh, further on, there is the uh, a mass at Morris Gabby at 12 o'clock on Sunday, uh, and that's the start of what we call the family day, and then the move on to the Westport Entertainment down in the Westport grounds. And it all kicks off Friday week, and you're all welcome, and please, the more they come, the happier we all be. And the open next Friday week is in Westport House. It's referred to the Chief's Interception, and it's at 7 o'clock. And I thank Hotel Westport for making Westport House available to us at no cost. Thank them. So uh, I'd like to thank my committee. I'd like to thank Rosalind, the manager of the Westport Town Hall Theatre, who has done a lot of work on putting this evening to show. But more particularly, she has been outstanding in bringing this the, the clan weekend together and the whole organisation of it. So, Rosalind, thank you. I look forward to meeting you all at some of the forthcoming events next weekend in the Amalie Clan Rally, or as I like to call it, the Clan Rally of Irish Clan People. So, Adin Yusha, Jeeve, Munyabuikas. <laughs>